Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my Hobonichi Weeks for 2025. Grab a cup of coffee or tea and let's get started. All right, I am so excited to set up my 2025 Hovenichi Weeks. You can see I have grabbed a ton of goodies. I'm going to be using the Platinum Hovenichi Weeks. I did ask on Instagram whether or not you guys wanted me to do a plan with me using the Aesthetic Kit the slate kit or the colorful kit and you guys voted for the aesthetic kit i am so excited i did grab the colorful kit because i do plan on still setting this up because i'm going to be using it as a fitness and a collections tracker so i have my book stickers, my New Year's stickers, and all of my bow stickers that I'm going to be putting in there. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know down below as well. So, all right, let's get started with the aesthetic. This is going to be my everyday carry. So I'm so glad you guys voted for the aesthetic kit. I grabbed a ton of stickers you can see. Um, I also grabbed a couple of decals to use for the beginning page here. So the first one is the savor the moment sip by sip. I just came out with this in our December collection. I also have the 2025 chic decal. I think that looks really good right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just be brave and start putting down stickers now. So I'm going to put that right in the middle here. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love the gold against the Hobonichi background. I used that in my Hobonichi cousin setup as well. And I knew I wanted to use it again, especially with the aesthetic kit. And then the sip by sip just looks so pretty there. Now, I also grabbed a ton of the coffee stickers from the journaling kit. I thought that this would go really well against the aesthetic stickers. So I thought that I would use some of these in the front page here to help me get motivated and inspired to set up the rest of the planner. So I thought that these florals would go really well with the front page. So I'm just going to put down a couple of them to get started.
Patty has to come say hi. Oh my gosh, right in the middle of me getting in my groove of putting down stickers on the cover. I think I was probably getting a little carried away anyway. So yay. Hi, Patty. Say hi to everybody. And then I'm going to have to put you down. All right, one more little pet, and then you're going to have to say goodbye to everybody. All right, I love how this turned out so far. I do want to put down just a few more little stickers. I think that that is it. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so in love with how this looks. It is so much different than I normally do. I usually just put one or two little stickers, but I definitely got a little carried away. So, so pretty. I do think I want to add one more little flower off onto the right of the 2025 decal. Yes. So, I think that really makes it pop. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, let's move on because I have so many other things I want to set up today. All right, so let's go ahead and put down our tabs next. So I'm definitely going to set up this yearly view page, but I like to put all of my tabs down first so that way I can flip to the section that I need to get to right away. And guys, this paper feels super smooth. I know that they changed it for 2025, but wow, it is so smooth. All right, so I have all of my tabs here. I use the aesthetic tabs in the Hobonichi Cousin setup, and I loved how that turned out. So I'm probably going to do that with the Platinum. Yeah, it does look really nice. I did grab all of the other ones. The Coco Rose looks really pretty as well. I'm, I don't know, that does look really good. Coconutty matches also. Oh, and then of course the Vanilla Latte, that would be perfect also. Um, and then the Coco Rose in script and in print so many decisions so i grabbed a lot of the neutral ones just to see if i wanted to change my mind the white looks perfect also guys it's so hard i don't know i think i'm just gonna stick with my original idea and just go with the aesthetic since that matches this collection as well i love the coco rose but yeah we're gonna go with aesthetic that way it, we get all of the color selection so let's go ahead and put this down i grabbed our tab map to put down all of the tabs this makes it so much easier to line up all of the tabs easier and to space them out it has been such a lifesaver and it saves me so much headache so I don't have to readjust all of my tabs after I've already placed them. So I got a lot of questions on this when I did my Hobonichi Cousins setup. It actually comes free with the purchase of these tabs. So I'm just testing out the first one here to make sure that it is sticking out enough so I can see the January. You can also push them inside in case you don't want your tab to stick out, but I like to have them sticking out and peeking through. That way I can just flip to my month easier. So I'm gonna test out just a couple more to make sure that they're spaced out fine before I move on to the rest of them. So I'm just lining up the tab guide to the top of the planner and then I'm placing down the tab right in the middle of February. That way it will be centered for the next month and then I'm flipping it over and sealing it off on the opposite side and then I'm just pressing it down firmly to seal it and yay all right those look perfect okay so i'll go ahead and just finish off the rest of them
All right, so all of the monthlies are done. I actually use the tabs to flip to the weekly section. I don't know if I had mentioned that, um, but I do want to add one for my notes section as well. There's also tabs for the daily, monthly, and for weekly, so you can decide where you want to place all of your tabs. So yay oh my gosh all right so look at how pretty oh my gosh i love it so all of the numbers are on the reverse and then the notes is just doubled same thing with the weekly and monthlies so oh my gosh i love it yeah that looks so nice i'm so glad i decided to go with the aesthetic so i think i also want to add one for the monthly section as well. I want to add it up top though and not on the um, side. Now I do plan on setting up the December in here but I don't know if I'm going to move in here until January so I think I'm going to place the monthly tab like on December so that way I can like flip to January easily and have it open up to December. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to test to see if I actually really like it. So yeah, I think I'm going to put it down on December. Like I said, yeah, let's flip to December. And then I'm just going to put it right up top here. And yeah, I think that that's going to look super cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and seal that off. I want to make sure that I press it down pretty firmly so that the sticker stays in place on the other side as well. It does have a perforation in the middle of all these tabs so it makes it really easy to just flip over. So yay! Oh my gosh! So cute! Yes, that's just popping out so adorably. I love it. All right, yay. It turned out so much better than I even imagined. So I'm so glad I stuck with those tabs. It looks so good. All right, so there are a couple more tabs left and there's room for another one at the bottom here, but I think that I'm gonna be good and just leave it at that. So, all right, yay. Okay, so let's move on to the yearly view. So I also had everybody vote on Instagram whether or not you wanted me to set it up with the years already on the washi strips here. They're not available in the shop right now. It just comes without the years. Um, but I did add the years just to ask on Instagram whether or not you guys wanted the years. And you guys said no years. So all right, so they're going to be completely blank. That way you can just add the years yourself or write them in. Um, I know a lot of people just like to write them in. They also use them to set up old planners so um, they can write in other years as well. So I like the idea of not having the years already on there as well. Um, so that way if you actually buy a couple sets you can have them for maybe next year as well. So I'm going to finish off by putting down all the rest of the stickers in this kit. So I'm just putting down the washi now up top and then at the bottom here to cover up the next year as well. And then there is a large box to cover up the important dates in the bottom here. I don't use that section like it says. So I like to cover it up and um, write in my own little plan for this section which I will go over as soon as I'm done putting down all of the little calendar stickers. So I'm just lining them up right on top of the month there. So yay! Oh my gosh! It looks so great. So this aesthetic kit is brand new for this year and I am just loving the color. So I'm gonna grab one of the 2025 and then just put it right on top of the middle of the washi here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so I use this section as a key. So I'm going to go ahead and write down all the things that I want to keep track of for 2025. 
every year it is a little bit different. This year I decided that I didn't want to keep track of birthdays in here because I am going to keep track of them in my Hobonichi Cousin or maybe in the colorful um, fitness planner, but I just didn't feel like I needed to keep track of them in my everyday carry. Um, I grabbed all of my heart stickers because I want to put down the heart coordinating to the highlighter that I'm going to be using for my keys. I'm picking out five different hearts um, to go with the highlighters that I have here. I could probably put down six, but I think I only have like four major things that I want to keep track of. Um, and then I'm just going to add one extra heart for something that comes up because it changes every year um, I usually like to keep space for something that comes up that was like unforeseen that I want to write in here all right so the first thing that I'm going to keep track of is all of my appointments so when I have an appointment I'm going to take my highlighter and mark that day so that way I can use this as a reference so when I'm out and about all I have to do is look at this yearly overview and see if I already have something scheduled for that day so um, my new releases all of my sale days and then of course all of my vacation days are going to go in here as well and then I also write them in my monthly and my weekly section so um, this is just a helpful guide especially when I'm out and about um, so I can just glance here and make sure that I don't double schedule myself so all right so I think that that's it there is a little more space on the key so I thought that I would grab one of these floral stickers since I had a couple of them left and then put it on the top right here I don't want to cover up the coffee mug down below but yeah, this is going to look so cute. Yes, definitely loving all of these florals. So pretty. All right, so the key is done. Moving on to my index page. All right, so this is totally, totally different this year. So um, I have the aesthetic color palette here, and I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Now, I usually use this index page for a fitness tracker. I mean, I probably have been doing that for years. I don't even remember the last time I did not do that. I mean, technically, I'm still going to do it, um, but it's going to be in my fitness planner and not in my everyday carry like usual. So before I put down all of the washi strips at the bottom, there are these little boxes up top on the kit here. You can use them up top in the little box section here, or you can use them in the bottom. Um, I like to use them sometimes to cover up the little red um, Saturday and Sunday or the gray and the red. I also like to use them to cover up any mistakes that I made. So um, especially with I wrote down all of my fitness stuff, sometimes I needed to cover that up and redo it. So this time, though, I don't think I'm going to have to do that because I am actually going to use this as a mood tracker. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. It's actually going to be the very first time that I'm going to be keeping track of all of my mood. I think I should have been probably doing this a long time ago, um, but I am finally going to do it and I cannot wait to see how it turns out. I also created some um, mood tracker stickers for it. I think I'm going to put it up top. I grabbed all of the journaling kits. I think I'm going to put down some washi in the middle yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it right up top in the middle. Instead of just putting the mood tracker, I kind of want like something behind the stickers here. So let's go ahead and put this down. I like to put down long stickers or big stickers on my hand first just to make it a little less sticky in case I want to move the stickers around. It just makes it a little bit more movable. So Oh uh, yeah, that looks good. I almost feel like I could do it just like this and not have the script stickers, but I don't know. 
It looks so good, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and put them down. I definitely want them um, since I made them. All right, so let's just put it right in the middle here. And mood. Yes, this is such a mood, right? Oh my gosh, I love it, guys. This is the first time I've used like an aesthetic palette. You guys know I usually do the colorful every single year. Um, but really, I am loving and loving this. So yay, so pretty. All right, so um, I have all of my highlighters here. And the idea is that I want to place a key down at the bottom here. Um, that way I can write in the mood that I want to track. So let's go ahead and just do it and see how it turns out. So I'm going to highlight first and then write the mood right on top of it. That way I know exactly which color will go with the mood. So the first one here is going to be motivated. And then the second one is going to be anxious. And I have a feeling this one's going to be a lot of them and oh my gosh guys I just grabbed the wrong pen um, so I don't like to use gel pens right on top of the Hobonichi paper um, because it will bleed or smear if I touch it it needs a bit of setting time so I'm just being a little careful all right so I'm going to put down all of the highlight first and then write the mood on top of them when I'm done. how that turned out so I left the right side open for any other moods that I might um, think of as it comes up so the idea is to fill in each one of the little squares for each day with the highlighter of the mood. So, all right, so just one last little heart sticker, and I think that that is good for the index page. Yay, I love that. All right, so I'm not going to set up the December monthly view yet, or else this video would be super long, but I definitely plan on setting this up maybe on Instagram. Uh, let me know down below. Do you guys want me to do it on Instagram or would you prefer a whole longer YouTube video of it? All right, so let's move on to the notes section real quick. I do have lots of notes that I want to keep track of. So I did grab one of the 2025 decal stickers to mark the whole new year. I am ready for it. I cannot wait for 2025. So I I grabbed a bunch of the little heart stickers because I use this note section like crazy. So it's kind of like an extra little bonus indexing. So um, down at the bottom, they have the page number and the subject. I'm just adding a little bit extra to the top here. I might even add more of the hearts to the right, but I think that I will leave it as is for now. But I might come back to it throughout the year and add a couple more hearts. All right, so moving on to my first note section. So the first couple of pages here is actually going to be for my goals of the year. So this is just going to be for my personal goals. All of my business related goals are actually going to be in my Hobonichi Cousin because that is strictly my business planner. And this one is like more of my personal planner. I definitely keep track of business related things in here as well because it's my everyday carry and my Hobonichi cousin doesn't leave the house so um, it's like my catch-all planner as well so I will keep track of that but my goals I'm going to keep separated so this will be like my relationship goals spiritual goals and things like that where they're going to all live in this. I might not keep track of my fitness goals in here since I do plan on doing a whole fitness um, planner. So yay. All right. 
So the first page is done. I'm actually going to do a second page for goals as well. I like to have extra just in case they um, get a little longer throughout the year. I just never know how much space I'm really going to need. So I like to give myself ample space to write in in case I need to journal about the goals as well. So I'm going to keep it super simple and just add these two little corners to the pages and then throughout the year I might add more stickers but I just like to have them to start out with because it helps get me motivated and inspired to plan when I open up my planner. So the next couple of pages are actually going to be for my notes section. I'm using a couple more than my goal pages since I do like to keep track of a lot of notes in here. I am setting up more list pages. I just grabbed all of the coffee stains and guys this is my favorite sheet of stickers that I've created. I use this all the time in my Hovenichi Cousin but it's the first time I'm actually using it in the Hovenichi Weeks Planner um, and I am loving it. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to use this whole sheet and finish out um, all of the pages just with this sheet.
All right, guys, I think that that is all of the note pages that I'm going to set up. I still have a lot left. It's not the mega weeks, so there aren't a ton, but I think it's going to be plenty since I have the fitness planner and my Hobonichi cousin. So we'll see. So I also have a clear cover. So these are in my shop right now. I used to sell these in 2021 and 2022 but my manufacturer stopped making them. So I've had a hard time trying to get a replacement, but I think I might've found one. Um, yes, it looks so good. It covers up the um, tabs pretty well to keep them safe. Um, so there's only about 20 of these and they're gonna go wet pretty fast. I'm not sure when I will get a replacement in, but um, make sure you're signed up to our newsletter because I will definitely announce it once I get more in. Right, so I want to set up a couple more things in the back. I do have a couple more of these moon pouches, so I want to put one here. I'm actually going to put it sideways and stick in all of my heart stickers. They fit perfectly. They're pretty snug, so even if I tip over my planner, they're definitely not coming out, so that is great. I'm also going to put in some little freebie stickers and then some of my script stickers. I use the to-do stickers really probably all the time. And then I also have some icon stickers. I just grabbed the black and white clear ones. I like to use these in my monthly section. I'm going to put them in the front pocket here and guys I don't know if I want to put them there because it's going to cover up part of my cover and I kind of want to see my cover so yeah let's go ahead and take these out and put them in the back of the planner here I might move them up front later um, but for now I'm not going to put it there maybe I'll put a little like yeah let's put this coffee sticker so it goes along with my coffee theme so yay all right so that is a look at my 2025 setup my front cover here the yearly view page the index page with my mood tracker. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this. I will definitely show um, how it evolves um, throughout the year, most likely on Instagram. I'll probably come back to YouTube and do a whole um, walkthrough of how my planner is looking. So all of my goal pages, my notes pages. I did a couple different notes pages because I like to keep track of tons of notes throughout here. And then of course my list. List is probably the number one thing that I keep track of. Like even my grocery list will be in the back here. So I definitely knew I needed to do a lot of those. And then I also have a couple project pages, just a few. And then I left all of the other note sections blank in the back. That way if anything comes up, I will be able to to have space to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my whole setup process. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.